Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Adiano using IoT. In the last video we have learned how to blink the LED using the software and also practically. But today we will learn how to interface a button with a LED and Adiano. So how to do that? That I will show you now. Before starting with the coding we will first make the connections in such a way that I have made on Proteus. So you can see here I have connected a button and a resistor to pin number 1 of my Ardiano board. Here you can see. You must be thinking why I am using this resistor over here in between the button and a pin. Actually this resistor is a pull up resistor which will define some value to my pin 1 which I will be using as an input pin because when I am applying a button to my pin I will be checking for a conditions that whether it is high or low so this resistor will give it a by default value or we can say a current state of our pin number 1 this one is a VCC which will give it a VCC so that it will be going through this path and when the button is pressed it will be getting another path so it will travel from here to here and giving my pin as, as a low input so there will be my two conditions one is when I am pressing the button and one is when I am not pressing the button so for that case I will be making connection like this and writing the code accordingly. So let's make the connections first. So this is my connections from my last program and now I will be connecting a button. So this is a button and it is having four legs. Here we can see. Here we can see there is a partition between these two legs and these two legs that means these two pins are connected together internally and these two pins are connected internally together and in between these two there is no connection so we I'll be using these two connections only so I will put it somewhere so I will just put it here so now these two are connected together these two are connected together first so now I have made the connections of my button with LED so that when I will press the button my LED will glow and when I will not press the button the LED will be turned off so these connections that I have made is accordingly that I showed you in my Proteus software. So now let's write the code for it. And now we have made the connections with LED and a button. So now we will write the code for that. So this was our last program in which we have defined our LED pin number 2. Similarly we will define our button pin that is for button equals to 1 because I am connecting it to pin number 1 and now we will define a pin number 1 mode that whether it is input or an output so I will just write pin mode within brackets that is for button so I will write button or we can also directly write 1 comma input so that means I have defined it as an input pin so now what I will do I want here that when I will just click the button my LED will blink and when I will not click the button it will turn off so I will just come inside this loop and check for the button state so for that I will need a new variable so I will write int within bracket any variable or we can say button state equals to 
now i'll write digital read within brackets my pin number that is for button so what this command is doing actually it is checking the current state of our pin and here i have written for the button so that means it is checking for the pin number 1 that what is its current state whether it is high or it is low so similarly i will check for the conditions so it is checking the current state of a button so let's check for the condition so i will write if within brackets button state equals 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 is operator is for checking whether it is equals to that or not so i will check for low because when i will press the button so there will be no input or no value on a pin number 1 so i will check it for the low condition and i will put all this code inside my loop here we can also write for the else condition like if it is doing something in if condition then it must also do for else condition so i will just write else within the curly braces and inside that i will just write that digital write within brackets led comma low that it will be low if nothing will be happened or button is not pressed and i will put a delay of around 10 milliseconds because if i will put a delay of more then i have to press it for a long time so that's why i'm just putting it for 10 milliseconds and it's up to you if you don't want to put it then you can leave it also but it's better that you will put it so that it will work properly so now a program has been built so let's check it out first upload it so we can check whether a program is working or not so let's check it out so let's check whether a program is working or not so i will just press the button you can see when i'm pressing the button it's turning on and turning off again when i am pressing the button it is turning on and turning off and when i am not pressing the button it's not doing anything it's just off